It's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max on Borderlands 3 video and today we are going over the top 10 worst legendary weapons in Borderlands 3. Now before we get into this video, I just gotta say we tested every legendary weapon that I thought was bad and oh my goodness, there are so many bad weapons. There are a lot of just stinkers. We had to set the bar really low for this. For, to be on this list, you literally have to struggle to kill a single enemy on Mayhem 10. Genuinely, like these weapons take minutes to kill things in true takedown malawan takedown we tested on grave ward uh these are some bottom of the barrel terrible weapons never use these things i hope you guys enjoy the list let's get right into it coming in at our number 10 spot is the horizon shotgun this thing you can farm for max a trillion i don't know why you would ever do that because that's a horrible enemy to farm he's such a pain in the butt to kill and this gun is terrible uh just hardly any damage with its primary fire and when you reload it it's going to uh if you shoot its little reload in time before it explodes it's gonna create this like vortex which will suck enemies in which is ironic because this gun itself sucks it literally its ability is sucking and it also sucks it's really bad do not use this thing Coming in at the number nine spot is the auto aim. Now I took this thing against the true Malawan takedown and I was able to kill three enemies before I used my entire reserve up. Full sniper reserve on this thing, firing in full auto on a cracked Zane build. And it took me the it, like literally like over 200 bullets to kill three enemies with a sniper. Uh, this thing is terrible. The auto aim function of it is terrible because it makes it harder sometimes to hit enemies and if they've got shields it seeks their shields sometimes it doesn't hit crits and it needs to hit crits to do damage uh you can farm this thing from freddy it's a guaranteed drop a hundred percent chance of getting it from freddy which is it also has a hundred percent chance of being absolute dog water do not use this weapon <laughs> Coming in at our number eight spot is the Mother 2. Now, this is an interesting TDR SMG that it shoots a laser beam, but when you throw it, it's going to like deploy this little like beacon thing that will hover over enemies and do damage to them. And I would literally rather watch paint dry than watch these laser beams do damage to enemies. They're incredibly weak. And no, just because you can swap something with a guardian angel or swap something with an unforgiven does not make it good. If I see a single comment saying, oh, I... I use this weapon, but I swap to a guardian angel after throwing it, and then it's good. I I, I will just block you. <laughs> okay. This gun is terrible. Do not use it. Genuinely, zero out of ten. <laughs> Coming in at our number seven spot is the Night Flyer. A gun literally designed to not kill things. You cannot kill enemies with this pistol unless you're using like action skill and anointments that have elemental damage on them to dot the enemies. The Night Flyer literal it's like unique thing that it does is not kill things you cannot finish enemies and if you're using cryo damage with this thing the cryo damage enemies will become immune to it because it doesn't deal a dot and it won't be able to kill them so it's terrible uh it does bad damage when you're in the air it fires full auto which is super awkward because randomly you'll just start full firing full auto and when you stop firing full auto there's like a little re-trigger delay of when you can shoot again and it's just it's awkward to use it does bad damage you need a specific build just to be able to finish enemies with it and uh if you really want to go get this thing you can get it from Rackman. i would not recommend doing that though coming in at our number six spot is the bear cat Bearcat does horrible damage. Uh, it shoots a bunch of grenades out there. It, this gun has managed to be dog water through multiple Borderlands games. It's no matter, they've buffed it multiple times in Borderlands 3, and it is still terrible. It is borderline unusable. Their grenades go everywhere. They'll do damage to you. They hardly hit enemies. Even just spraying an enemy point blank with this thing, like, it just doesn't do any damage, and I cannot recommend using this weapon ever in any situation. You can spray a ton of enemies with all their grenades, but if they're not taking any damage, then, like, literally, what is the point? Uh, you can farm this thing for Truffle Munch, and, uh, yeah, that's the bear cat. All right, we are now down to our top five worst weapons, and at our number five spot is the Chandelier, a weapon that ricochets, but not between enemies. This thing ricochets off of walls and surfaces, unlike the Recursion, which ricochets between enemies, and it is terrible. It's so bad, <laughs> which is which is crazy, because it is 187,000 base damage times four, and still manages 
to whip out some of the worst damage in the game that I've ever seen. Like, I would I would be here for a year <laughs> shooting this guy on this turret. <laughs> Coming in at our number four spot, and this one deserves a special place on this list, is the Voss Death Grip. This thing is a Mayhem 4 exclusive. This is a weapon that can drop to you in the hardest, originally hardest endgame, and from Wotan, one of the original, like, hardest bosses content in this game. Not only that, does it suck, drop from some of the hardest content, but it consumes six ammo per shot and can't even kill a single ratch in one shot. This thing is garbage. It's hard to use. The fact that it consumes six ammo per shot is absurd. <laughs> it's genuinely stupid that this thing consumes six ammo per shot, is a charge up and does this bad of damage. Like, you can do some things to, like, get this thing to do a little bit more damage. But I'm literally playing an Eraser Zane build. And, like, I'm struggling to kill Ratches with this thing. Once again, a Mayhem 4 drop. Like, granted, I could probably kill these things a little bit faster with the Death Grip than the Chandelier. But, like, come on, dude. <laughs> uh, not only that, but this one's, like, especially hard to use. Because if enemies just walk out of it, then you've wasted six shotgun shots on a single shot like that. And um, yeah, it's just terrible. Imagine doing some some of the hardest content and this is your reward. <laughs> and at our number three, we have the predatory lending, a gun that uses money instead of ammo. So you shoot uh, money, you spend a dollar for every bullet that you shoot out of this thing. And I don't know why you would ever use it because you're not only gonna lose money, but you do literally zero damage. This is one of the lowest base damage for a Mayhem 10 Legendary that I've ever seen. I don't, I haven't seen anything lower than this. This is a 5,000 base damage predatory lending. I could go through every other thing and nothing else has that low of a base damage. Um, I, if there is a, if there's a legendary weapon that's got a lower base damage, you let me know, because I haven't seen one yet. Even the Night Flyer pistol is 26,000 base damage versus the 5,000 damage of the Predatory Lending. The 10 gallon has 36,000 base damage, just to give you an idea of how truly awful this thing is. And when we shoot it at enemies, I'm stuck, literally stuck in the wall. Like, are, this is a, it's a it's a baby ratch, bro. It's a baby ratch. <laughs> I am using a fully spec out saying with God roll everything. <laughs> Why? <laughs> And coming in at our number two spot, which I originally thought was going to be, or if I had guessed, I would say that this is the worst gun in Borderlands 3, uh, but there's actually something worse than that. And this is the Creeping Death. This thing has been garbage for forever. I think this originally wasn't in the game, and then they added it later to, like, be something exciting. And, oh my god, is it so bad? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Just, just to give you an idea, this thing has 16,000 base damage. Like, I, I genuinely think I might be able to kill this guy faster with the predatory lending. <laughs> oh, let's kill some of these guys. Let's kill some ratches. Like, why does... It's... it? Like, no, no, no way. Creeping death, bro. This thing's crawled to a halt. <laughs> we are, we are at a stiff... We're at a standstill. We're at a standstill on our damage right now. <laughs> it's healing. It's, it is out healing. Sick. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and before I say the number one, a few shout outs to some weapons. The pain is power and the embrace the pain. Both do damage. Like these weapons kill things, but if you overheat them, the dot damage or the damage that it will do to you will instantly kill you. Um, so while they can like technically kill things, like you can't use them because you'll always be dead. <laughs> um, and then the other weapon I wanted to shout out is the Wizzy Mechanic. Uh, this thing is, I guess, supposed to just be a weapon you hold while you're in a car. 
to do more car damage but it's it's so bad it's you can't kill things with it at, like at all <laughs> um this is boar explosion by the way it's just it's got no radius it doesn't do anything it's hard to hit enemies with and it's really really bad but none are as bad as our number one spot which should come to no surprise as a lot of you it is the binary operator now i am rating this weapon based off of the end game performance if we were rating these weapons based off of their playthrough performance we could have a totally different list everything is tested at end game and this thing it's the way it works is it has a like hidden base damage number that i think is like fifty thousand damage and if you can get an enemy into the fifty thousand damage range you will one shot them but until then it does two damage and at mayhem 10 enemies have millions and millions and millions of health so when i shoot at an enemy i do no damage with this thing uh it is genuinely terrible it is hands down at end game the worst legendary on this list uh it is terrible i mean it literally does two damage i'm currently dotting this man for six damage <laughs> six damage um and it's a sniper this thing is terrible yes you can use it uh if you're doing a playthrough it'll kill things but as it's end game performance uh this thing is one of the worst weapons in the entire game i mean it is it is the worst weapon in the entire game and it comes from arms race where like that's for some of the best gear in the game for farming i it's just it's i mean it, it does two damage like what more else can you say guys that is it for the list of the top 10 worst items i tested so many things I tested the Sage, the ASMD, the Occultist. Um, what else? The the Bright Side. Like, the Bright Side was good enough to not be on this top 10. That's how terrible these top 10 weapons are. Um, seriously, just all awful things. The 10-gallon does enough damage to not be on this top 10 worst list. The Alchemist. I don't even think the Alchemist was on this list, and it's horrible. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that was my top 10 worst items in Borderlands 3. Worst legendary guns. Uh, let me know what you guys, what your top 10 worst ones are, what you think is the worst gun in the game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Happy New Year's, guys. Take care. Peace. I was playing